and welcome to London Lookabout for June 2021, telling you about what's happening in the now fully open London, and it's amazing. It's great to be back, back filming, and we've got some great stuff coming up on the channel as well, which we'll tell you about during the month of June. So Jaden and I are here to tell you what's happening in London in June 2021. So welcome. Yay. Right, let's dive into the shows this 2021. There's a lot more being announced and a lot more albums coming out. So let's get started. First we have Anne-Marie for her new album Therapy, Therapy is going on tour in London in the SSE Arena in Wembley in 2022. Her album Therapy is available July 23rd and for more information you can visit www.annemarie.co.uk and then lastly we have Billie Eilish Happy and e Happier Than Ever, the world tour. She's going on tour at the O2 in London in June 2022. And Happier Than Ever, her album is out July 30th. For more information go to www.billieilish.com. Excellent. Music's back. Yay! <laughs> oh, and it's brilliant that you talk about the O2 because one of our most popular videos on the channel is our tour of the O2 and we're going to shoot some more again very very shortly at the O2 uh, because the demand for it is really high. So let's tell you about some things that are happening because the O2 is back and it's back open again. One of the things we're hoping to go and do shortly is to go and climb the O2 yeah. so you can actually go above it and you can go and you can walk right above the dome and get amazing views over London. But if you fancy getting to the O2 not only can you do that the shops are now fully open as well so you can get in there and go and do that. Uh, plus there's lots of other things as well such as a trampolining area uh, where you can pay to go trampolining by the hour uh, that's there within the O2 and not only can you do that there's loads of restaurants you've got the O2 arena as well which is only open when there's concerts and other bits and pieces on and we've never filmed in there but I've got a funny feeling we may be going there in September with a bit of luck so I think yeah. we'll film when we get in there and what we'll also do when we film our new one is give a guide as well where you can get to which side of the O2 you want to sit on for a fast and easy exit yeah. Go around about that as well. So loads of things. Oh, also they've got a massive cinema as well within the O2 complex. So loads of things that you can do. If you want more information, you can go to and look at our video. Alternatively, uh, you can look up the O2 on Google, and you'll find the details there. And it's open every day from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So it's a whole wide range, um, and it's great for parking nearby as well because once you spend more than 35 pounds, you get four hours of parking free. If you want to drive up there but it's easy to get to north greenwich as well so it's the o2 reopen for business wow sounds very interesting yeah. well here we have some of the videos coming this june we're going on the trip on the thames on an uber we get to go to the Co to covent garden again and we're going to buckingham palace i can't wait, <laughs> I can't wait for that oh. honestly oh. we've never been in there have we no we've literally. been outside how many times have we seen buckingham palace from the outside? So many. So many. But we're we going can't in. Wait to go in. Honestly. So we will be uploading our videos on every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. And our podcast is every Wednesday. And thank you for everyone. You can listen on Apple, Google, Spotify, all about your favourite things in London. Now, we have massive things happening on the channel. Last week we hit over five hundred subscribers. We are so thankful. Thank you for everyone who is liking, commenting, everything. Thank you so much. So, I made up a name that we could call our fans, and they're called Crown Jewels. Thank you, our Crown Jewels. You are very royal. And you, we will be letting you know on the next London Lookabout for July more information about how you could get more involved on the channel, you Crown Jewels. Now, here are our Watchers of the Month. Thank you for everyone who's been supporting us. And here we have shout outs to Ramia, Sailor1234, Lenny to and Lenny Toys and Films. Thank you for joining us this month with so many other viewers. And thank you Ali and Lan for the comments on these videos. Thank you so much. Let us know if you'd like a shout out next on the next month London Lookabout on Instagram and Twitter at London Visited or through the contact us on the website www.londonvisited.co.uk And here we have competition time. Why not post your favourite London picture on Twitter 
Twitter and tag us London Visited so we can all share London together. Well, we'll announce the winner of the best posted one in the London Lookabout for July when it comes out on Wednesday the 30th of June. The prize is this amazing London Visited t-shirt that we're even wearing. Sounds Love it. Nice. It does, doesn't it? And well, we've given loads of these away, so do get oh. involved. Just put it on Twitter or Instagram and tag us in. That's the really important bit so we can see what we've um, other pictures of London on there and share those with you. Um, it's brilliant. So we can't thank you enough thank for you. 500 subscribers. We never thought we'd wow. get to 500 subscribers when we started doing this. This is brilliant. But do you know what it's like, 500 subscribers? Halfway to a thousand. Yes, halfway to a thousand. But do you know like how many people that is? Like coaches of people. Yeah, yeah, it's like ten yeah. coaches, ten buses wow. full of people. Or even the amount of people that you can get onto a jumbo jet. <laughs> wow. wow. Thank you. So thank you so wow. much. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us. Right, so uh, let's continue our look and see what's happening uh, in London in June. Um, and what we couldn't be more excited, there's a Friends Fest back. So you will have seen recently in the press that Friends have got together and they've been doing a documentary, a talk about how it all used to be um, and getting back together again. Well, coming to London very, very soon, the outdoor extravaganza uh, at Clapham Common, which is on the 25th of June for its first stop of an epic UK tour, you can go down there and it's a chance to grab a selfie snap in Central Perk, hang out in Monica's iconic purple apartment and also recreate the show's famous fountain that side title sequence. Yes, they have the sofa and they've got, a, they've got a fountain and all the rest of it so you can go and do that. Loads of other bits and pieces that you can do. Um, it's taking place at Clapham Common and it is there from the 25th of June to the 11th of July. After that it goes off to Bristol, Manchester and Milton Keynes in August. So if, you want, if you're a massive fan of Friends, you want to get down there, uh, there'll be more info online. Just put in Friends, Friends Fest London and you'll get more. But Clapham Common from June, get down there. Oh, sounds very interesting. Well now we have nine of London's craziest golf courses. First we have Birdie's Crazy Golf, there's lots of food there, like cheeseburgers and pizza, oh that sounds really nice, mm. and there's all kinds of bowl colours, just overall fun. You can find more information at www.roofest.com and it's at Roofest Stratford Multi-Story Car Park. Right, next we have Junkyard Golf, a neon place with all kinds of quirky details and weird additions. Sounds very fun for all types. It's at the old Tramon Broadway in Brick Lane and you can find more information at www.junkyardgolfclub.co.uk Next we have Mr Milligan, which sounds like a very weird name, but it's actually a dinosaur world of all kinds of crazy golf. Sounds very nice. And it's at the Sid Club Bypass at Chiselhurst Bromley. And you can find more information at www.mrmulligan.com. Now we have the Lost Jungle, and which is indeed a jungle and includes all kinds of animals from anywhere into a rainforest. And it's a great experience. It's at the Lost Jungle in London Adventure at the Gulf Watford Bypass Edgeware. And you can find more information at www.lostjunglelondon.co.uk Then we have the Crazy Put Adventure Golf. It's in Greenwich with all kinds of rafts you ride on on your experience of this golf. And it's at the Greenwich Peninsula Golf Range in Greenwich. And you can find more information at www.crazyputadventuregolf.com Next we have Put in the Park, it's set by a river and it's absolutely stunning for the eye at Wandsworth Park, Putney and you can find more information at www.putinthepark.com Now we have Plonk Golf, the new course in London Fields, Hackney and it's full of fi the film industry where it's at the fourth Thieves Pub at W and you find more information at www.plumpgolf.co.uk. Second to last we have Put Shack. It combines technology and crazy golfing and it's beautiful futuristic touches. 
at Westfield London Shepherd's Bush and with more information at www.putshack.com lastly we have swingers there's 18 holes and lots of restaurants to eat at and it's at 8 Browns building Aldgate and more information is www.swingerldn.com fantastic should we go i think i want to should we go um, yeah we i like the dinosaur one the sound oh, of the dinosaur yeah, one that does sound good, that sounds really nice. hey brilliant thank you jay they are lots of crazy golf around get out yeah. and about and go and enjoy actually that'd be really good for the summer holidays as well wouldn't it Ooh. ah more videos to come on the summer holidays when we get to july more on that great now we told you way back when i think it was about january that um transport for london we're going to be trialing e-scooters in april obviously with the pandemic and the lockdown and all the rest of it, that's all been knocked back but it's going to happen in june so just to let you know if you're going up to london um it, as you know it's legal to ride e-scooters um, and it was made legal to ride e-scooters in London last July but there's a whole load of restrictions etc on there so TFL are going to be trying it out they're already trying it out in cities like Belgium in cities in Belgium for Italy and France in other countries but they're going to trial it out they're going to be in, in, doing it in several boroughs which will include Hammersmith and Fulham Canary Wharf Richmond and the city other potential bur boroughs may well join during the trial what do you need to know rental scooters will be legal for use on roads and cycleways but not pavements or pedestrianized areas Rental pricing will be set by the separate operators and discounts will be on offer for certain groups including key workers um, and the e-scooters will have a top speed of 12.5 miles an hour with boroughs able to specify go slow zones where the maximum speed will be 8 miles an hour. So it's going to start on the 7th of June. The data collected and gathered will be used to inform TfL's later long-term planning on the role e-scooters can play. Lots of talk at the moment about e-scooters uh, because of you know, carbon emissions or anything else like that. So it makes it a really environmental way to get around London. Um, and we'll find out more details as we get there. But soon coming to the streets of London. Oh, I really want to oh. find one. <laughs> now we have some of the trees at Somerset House. Around 400 trees are set to arrive at Somerset House this June, featuring 23 species of tree that are typically found in the UK and Northern Europe. Coming first to the 27th of June, the Urban Forest will be a beautiful installation designed with both lovers of nature and art combined. You won't want to miss it. It runs the 1st to the 27th of June, and for more information, go to somersethouse.org.uk. Brilliant. Oh, I really want to see it. That, yeah, maybe we'll shoot up there. Yeah. Buckingham Palace and then go to that. I think. Stay tuned, baby. <laughs> oh, I love bringing stuff. Just not enough time, enough days and all the rest of it to upload stuff. Right, um, final one from me. Lifeside Monopoly. If you fancy getting involved in the Monopoly game board, there's a 4D Monopoly coming to Tottenham Court Road. It's a Lifeside Monopoly board. So what you could do is you go into the, an old store. It used to be Paper Chase on Tottenham Court Road, and they've turned the whole thing into a, a into an actual Monopoly board. So if you have arguments with your family at Christmas, or every single time the Monopoly board comes out, how often? Yeah. Every time. Every time there's arguments and all the rest of it. The good news is this is physical. So actually you can move away from people as you move around. So if you fancy landing on Mayfair, etc., then you can do. It's actually this place is actually going to feature three giant boards, one named the classic board, which we all know, one called the Vault, um, and one also called the City, as well as a junior board as well for young ones, uh, if they want to take part in that, but I don't think they probably will because they'd like beating everyone else at the normal monopoly, uh, without doubt. Um, players will be led around the boards and with each property square leading to a room with its own challenge. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, eh? Um, which sounds more like Crystal Maze, really, than Monopoly, but hey, who knows? I hate to think what chances and how much money oh, you're going to pay in tax. Oh, no. uh, yeah, super tax, 200 quid. Um, anyway, it's a four. It's been touted as a 4D game, which presumably means it'll take place given constraints and the dimension of time, universal rules that are normally applied to playing Monopoly. In other words, let's go for a drink for half an hour and then we'll come back when everyone's calmed down. I don't think that's going to happen either. So, it's the first of several similar experiences and we wait and see what happens. If you want more info, it's at www.monopolylifesized.com and we're going to have a video coming which we're putting together at the moment with all the different places in London that are on the Monopoly board so that will be coming soon so we can show you London through the eyes of a Monopoly board so that will be coming soon as well everyone loves Monopoly until the arguments yeah. normally it's but, quite quick in oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> our 
us? Yes. I wanted that station. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching this video of all the new tips on London for June 2021. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for all the support. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.